Hello again. Welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. I, I always look forward to our Tuesday evenings at eight. Now, tonight is a it's a very special show because all the deals are brought to us by P and O Cruises. We've got some amazing offers. We're actually going to take you all the way around the world. We've got deposits of just a pound and so much more. But let's introduce our very special guests. We've got two on the sofa tonight. This old face, Glenn. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm right at the end. I couldn't be much further away. No, 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 no. Listen, great to see you. I'm nearly with the rug doctors over there. <laughs> listen, great to see you. But Steph from Pino Cruz is with us tonight. You've given us the most amazing deals. Yes, you? we've got some cracking deals tonight. I'm very excited to represent our fabulous brand and talk about these great deals that we've got. Well, I, I'm already booking because we've got brand new ship, of course. Yep. Iona. Iona yes. Coming out. And she looks stunning. I'm looking at the price starting at 549. It's ridiculous. Isn't it? For it a brand is new ship. Ridiculous. And it's good because we've been watching it on social media the last few weeks because they've just put the dome on, I think, they've now. They've just they? put the sky dome sky on. Dome so, uh, yeah, there's lots of exciting news coming about her. We announced uh, the gin distillery Sold. coming on board. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't yeah. know. No, Salcombe Gin. Right, definitely. You like a little <laughs> tipple? Yeah. I mean, is that sold already? We well, don't I was already going to tell you about you, the you, ship. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but we've actually got cruises for everybody all around the world, but so affordable. That's what surprises me. So affordable, but we're in our launch period at the moment, so we've got um, even more choice for all of our guests. And what is lovely, because we've got a whole hour with Pino yeah. Cruises, we're going to really talk about all the things that make you so special as a brand the dining, the entertainment. Absolutely. The, the ships. fact that we're home from home, we're Britain's favourite cruise line. We've yeah. got the most amount of ships out of Southampton, um, but we truly do believe there is some something for everybody yeah. whether it's a ship or a destination or an entertainment venue there's something for everybody what's so good about it obviously with P&O being British sterling on board you know, oh, yes. wow. the exchange rates in other places aren't yeah. good at the moment probably, say... probably worse after today <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was and about to say do we say the dreaded oh, yeah. B word don't mention the B word no. yeah. and, and also tips tips all included tips all included as well yeah no service charges the value that we represent on board is incredible so it's a definite selling point yeah. for us well we are very excited we've even yeah. got a Christmas cruise as well but you can actually pre-register for cruises in 2021 yes we've got summer 21 and winter 21 22. into 22 can you believe and, and what are the benefits guys of, of, of pre-registering then Glenn tonight so people always I mean in the past people would wait for a late deal it's completely the other way now do an early deal the reason being is is you've got so much um, ideal so obviously past passengers and new passengers to P&O are going to get discounts if you're a past passenger it's up to 10% new passengers are 5% Deposits are really, really low as well, which is great. You can also pick the cabins because you've yes. literally got the, the ship opening up. You can pick the cabin that you want to go for, which is great. And it means you can pay it off over 18 months, two years, however long you want to do it. But we've been doing it in the office the last couple of weeks. Some things went live yesterday, some are tomorrow, some Thursday, Friday, depending on the level you are. But we really recommend that you do pre And which means you only have to put down a deposit of a pound per person. Which is, wow. which is great, isn't it? Yeah. Even I've got that on my credit card. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, just. Uh, no, 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 let's see. Uh, uh, as Glenn mentioned, um, on sale date starts, that's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, so as I said, tomorrow, Wednesday 23rd is general sale, and that's from March to June 21st. Thursday is going to be general sales from July to October 21st, and then general sale from November 21 up to April, I think, 22 on that one, that should be. But yeah, pre register tonight, and then as I said, we'll be booking like crazy in the morning. Yeah, we've, we've got such a great show, we really have. But uh, we are going to start off with. I've got some call outs. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jerry, oh, thank you very much. We, had, we had everything lined up. We had, we had our, our next video lined if up. If I don't this. do the call outs, they get the other. Right. I've got a couple on the other. Pause the show. Right? I thought it was all about me. Hang on. So, oh. <laughs> you go and have a drink. Not if you sit next to Glenn. So go on, Glenn. So we've got Helen Scott Reed and Adam Points. They're going on at Iona. Ooh, oh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Iona. enjoy. We've got Sheila and Raymond. Uh, they booked the Oceana TV deal that we had a couple of weeks ago. We've got Ron and Mary. Um, um, and also and, uh, Linda and Phyllis I met this week. They were on one of the ship visits. Said a big shout out to you guys. And also David and Angela Dunn. They are going on Morella or Explorer on the 2nd of Feb. So we said we'd give them a call out. So hi guys to everybody and uh, hope you have a great cruise. Can we continue? Yeah. Do I get permission, Glenn? Yeah, no. go Ryan, on. Ryan, we'll start this again then. Here we go. We're about time four minutes over now. <laughs> <laughs> we are. But it's time for this week's, we'll get that, solo special. <laughs> And you'll be delighted to it's on board your brand new ship, Iona. Game changer. 
Absolute game changer. Yeah. See, I am, I'm def I said earlier, I'm definitely booking for next year. Um, we've got amazing, say, single prices, but just look at the price of all the cabins for brand new ship. We're starting at 549, and that's you know, it tips included in that tips as well. Tips are included, so there's no service charges, as we said. But Iona, with oh. all of her new innovations on board, you know, 29 different places to dine, the Sky Dome, which is a completely think? different entertainment area. Very different ship for yeah. us. Just think what you pay to get a week for £549 yeah. Yeah. for a week. The, the value is brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, and from what the images we've seen, I mean, she is absolutely stunning. I say game changer. There are, what I've got my on, there's a, it's called a conservatory suite, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, conservatory mini suites are brand new on this ship. So um, it's a great extension to um, the, the amazing cabins we already have on board. But the whole concept with Iona is bringing that outside in. So with the conservatory mini suites, you can absolutely so, do that. So on an itinerary like this around the fjord, yeah, oh, God, it's, it's going to be amazing. just beautiful cruising around the fjords. I always say, yeah. you know, it's like waking up in a postcard every day. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got the two sets of bifold doors. And, and, just wonderful. and this gives you a, a little taster of some of the things we were doing in the fjords. I mean, I, I've cruised around them twice, three times for you. Three yes. times last year. It was fabulous. <laughs> in a year. I mean, I worked really hard. Don't I want your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cruise goes going on. But I did, I did three years up in Norway. And I, what I would always say to people, obviously, we've based that on the 549. If you can push it up to at least a balcony cabin, that's where you're yeah. going to get the main benefits on there. But sailing through Gairanga Fjord, which is there, which is stunning, one of the most popular destinations in uh, Norway and all these different places we're going to it's fantastic and you're going on the new ship beautiful beautiful and, uh, brand and, new and, yes. and as Glenn just mentioned you know if you can stretch to a balcony great but the balconies are just over 700 pounds as well can we have a little look at Iona yeah let's have a look at her so this is the grand atrium again outside in you've got three decks of a glass wall so really bring in that um, natural sunlight in don't forget it doesn't get dark in the fjords does it uh, no so, no beautiful the uh, sky dome completely new for us so by day a lovely pool and by night a retractable stage will host aerial acrobatic shows in there and dance the night away we then move on to uh, the Emerald Bar here, or the Coffee Bar I mean, again, here. Look at all that light it's again. Fabulous! Imagine sailing into the fjords with a lovely cup of coffee in the morning, just taking in that breathtaking views. It's going to be incredible. And you have Costa Coffee Mall, is that right? We do, yes. My favourite. <laughs> uh, the Gastro Pub is brand new for us, and Ollie Smith's the Glass House. Go and do a little bit of wine tastings. My favourite. And the slider burgers. Oh, the slider burgers. Yeah. I like the Rockin' Reds though, which is the three glasses of red. So I've flown around. The uh, in a, a, in a flight of wine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is beautiful. Adult only retreat it is always really key to point out on an adult only ship, uh, on a family friendly ship. There is adult yeah. only areas, but the retreat is just a lovely place to get away, relax, um, waiter service, really lovely um, spa type lunches. Just a really nice relaxing um, area. My word. The Thermal suite. I know. Look at it. It's incredible, isn't it? I can't wait to get it. Everything looks so luxurious. And it's so it? luxurious. And everything's going to be new. Yeah. It's going to have like the Shiny, new coffee, brand you know, new. That, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. No, this, right, this is what I've got my eye on. So this L-shaped sofa here. Look how much extra space you get for your cabin. Um, they've got the wine set up there, so you could definitely host a pre-dinner party. In and there. they're bifold doors as bifold. well. Bifold. Two sets of bifold doors. So if the weather's really great, open up both yeah. sets. Bring that outside in. But if it's a little bit chilly. You can uh, shut you can one, can't shut you? one yeah. and, and just enjoy the space yeah. there yourself. But get yeah. all of that view. But get all of that view. And when you sail in, you know, sail into Oldham for a good couple of hours, you want to take in those views. Sorry, that's I. Yeah. Are you sold on I that? I really am. <laughs> some, some friends of mine have just booked that actually, so <laughs> I definitely need to. Um, that's a little taster of Iona with Pino Cruises, but let's have a look at the, the amazing itinerary. Because yeah. if you haven't cruised around the fjords, it is a must-have, isn't it? Yeah, so again, they're doing the fjords cruising throughout the whole summer summer period, which is great. So you've got plenty of opportunity. Whether you go within the school holidays or whether you go out the school holidays is fantastic. But again, always sailing from Southampton, you can go with a holiday in Winchester, £95 per person for the night before. And obviously you've got your transfers and then, um, you know, to the port area and your car parking included. On that I bet it's so easy, isn't it? 
it so is, easy. Yeah. You're on the ship within half an hour yeah. of arriving at uh, Southampton. And your holiday begins. Your holiday so begins. Within a, normally have a day at sea, all the way up to St. Vangus, you've got a day at sea to enjoy the ship, taking the views, then you'll start hitting the fjords, and obviously sailing through Lysa Fjord is beautiful into Stavanger. Stavanger's one of the big cities in Norway. Um, and now again, when you say there, big city. <laughs> big city for Norway. <laughs> yeah. For Norway, yeah, there's Norway. more than three buildings there. But <laughs> as you go into Stavanger, you go past the Hanseatic buildings there, you can walk along the quayside. Um, again, this one is probably a bit more of a chill out day, relax, maybe have a drink off board the ship and just taking the views. And this is your first sights there of uh, Norway itself. We then from there move on to our next destination, which is one of our favourites on there. And this is going to be into Olden. Now, Olden is famous for a couple of things. First of all, the Brixdale Glacier, which is one that I'd really recommend a trip down Absolutely. with the troll cars. And the other one is for one of the greatest videos ever shot in Olden. Oh, of course. Right, now, so, so <laughs> Steph, you, you've just come back from the fjords, is that yeah, right? Yeah, well, last year I went to the fjords, yes. Three times? Three times. <laughs> uh, and you did a bit of filming. I did. Yeah. So yeah. I went on a, an amazing rib ride in Olden. Well, we've got a little, <laughs> little clip of that, <laughs> that visit right now with, of course, Steph. Let me tell you, that fear was real. <laughs> is, that the, is, that, can I just, is that the only time your fringe has ever moved? <laughs> <laughs> Don't! I knew you'd bring the fringe in. Of course it is. Absolutely. Yeah, it stays there. Um, oh, wow. It, I was holding on for dear life. But I tell you what, it was so fun. By the end of that rib ride, I was like, go faster, go faster. You know, it was just incredible. What a great way to get out in that beautiful fresh yeah. air, taking the views. And it's just, it's it just such amazing. a fun, yeah. fun way know, to you experience can do other things when you're hiking. You can do um, you can uh, mountain the biking, you can do the kayaking as well. Yeah. It's great. But you adventures. don't have to be that adventurous at all. No, you can just take <laughs> yeah. those and move on from it's there. It's great thing about cruises, you pick and choose, don't you? Absolutely. Exactly. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> where's next, and Glenn? So then we move on to one of the newer destinations, which is Helgesund. Yes. So, Halgerson, so we've replaced this, um, it was Bergen, but we've replaced this because it gives you a better um, time of call, so we'd have to leave Bergen normally at 2.30. Yes, I remember it's quite an early It's yeah, an departure. early start, but with Halgerson we're there from 9 to 5, so you get a full day, you can go up to uh, one of the top 10 most beautiful uh, waterfalls um, there, it's really great for hiking go and trace your um, Vikings and things there, but it's a, it's a beautiful town. And what's always um, good, town. the weather's so crisp, the air's so clean up there anyway, and oh, again, it's yeah. a fantastic place to be if you've not been there, especially, you know, throughout the summer periods, it's beautiful. And then from there we go down to Christensund, which again is a slightly different destination than you may have been on some of our other portal calls. Again, I would recommend a trip out here, taking you again all the way through the fields there, um, through beautiful, and the sailing in and out of this portal call is stunning, but over to visit some of the stave churches, some of the scenery, and again, your camera's going to be full because you're going to be taking pictures all day. But the fields is one of the most beautiful cruises in the world, and again, the island is going to be based there for the whole summer. And to be on this brand new stunning ship, and as you say, she, she, she is groundbreaking at yeah. some level. Yeah, she's a destination in herself. Yeah. There is so many new innovations. Uh, you're going to struggle to fit it all in in a week, so I guess you're going to have to book two holidays. Uh, I think you should. Uh, final <laughs> days at sea, actually. So again, you've got. Days at sea. And you've got to remember, I think uh, as well, you don't got 24 hour sunlight, which is always nice yeah. as well. Yeah, we have, of course, in the yeah, middle of the summer, um, and 24 hours of sunlight is hard to imagine, but it... I know. You have to say, I had to set myself an alarm to go to bed because I kept saying, oh, I'll have one more drink. It'll go dark in a minute. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know if it gets dark for us. <laughs> it doesn't get dark. So uh, yeah. that's a very late night. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It was just fabulous. It would be enough to be able to cram everything in on this amazing ship. Well, we've got a little clip of that now, haven't we? We have. <laughs> You often hear people say there's not enough hours in the day to fit in all they'd like to do on a cruise holiday. So it's kind of handy that in the Norwegian fjords you get all of this extra daylight. It's 20 to 11 now, and look at it. Hang on, does this mean I'm getting time and a half? <laughs> fuming, fuming, working that late at night, but <laughs> working remember, so hard. I do remember how amazing it is to get to that time of night and still be light. It was yeah. just mind blowing, yeah. you know. You're out on deck and it's just incredible. So, but just those extra hours of sunlight yeah. give you even more time to relax, yeah. enjoy the ship, enjoy take everything. in the entertainment, exactly. eat some more food. Hey, isn't it amazing? This is why I'm, I'm definitely booking this for next year. But. Um, let's remind you, uh, you can pre-register for these sellings now uh, for March 
uh, to June on the, you know, that's the 2021, 2021, I should say, <laughs> departure on sale tomorrow. I made a real pig's ear of that one, didn't I? Well, yeah, you just keep going, mate. We'll have you. <laughs> uh, you can <laughs> behave. Uh, now, the price includes 5% uh, discount uh, to new Pinot uh, cruise reductions there, and an additional 5% uh, Planet Cruise reduction included in that price. Past passengers receive an additional 5%, and they are uh, based on select pricing, and that means you can choose from free on board spend, port parking or UK coach transfers as well. Now, it is differ slightly depending on departure date. That's probably the worst I've ever read a full page graphic, isn't it, Glenn? Don't laugh. It's amazing. You're doing the next one. I'll get my teeth in we'll next time. get the next week. <laughs> um, but I, this is something I can read very clearly, and it's the prices. Um, and I'm amazed, and I, I keep saying this, for a brand new ship that's so stunning, you know, to start at 549, but even the outside and the balcony yeah. and the single prices are amazing as well, aren't they? Single prices are incredible. And, and from what I've seen, the single cabin's really nice oh, as well. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. yeah, all of the cabins yeah. are. But I've got my on the mini suite, which is the one that you've got. But, the, I mean, even, the if, conservatory. even if you look at those prices in the July and August, which is, you know, a beautiful time to go. You know, yeah. if, if you have to go you know, inside or outside, great. But really, really good. And as I say, try the new ship. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah, and we, whenever we've featured owner, been incredibly busy. So give us a call right now. Uh, or, of course, go to the Planet Cruise website. Um, but... We've got a whole hour of P and O cruises. What's coming up next? <laughs> uh, we've got Britannia. We My have. favourite. And it's also <laughs> destination hotspot as well. Now we actually filmed on Britannia. We did only a couple of years ago, um, and she's a you know still a very new ship, but she's had. A makeover. She's she? going. She's in refit. She comes right out of refit tomorrow. Yes. But she didn't need it, did she? So she's only five years old. I remember when the Queen named her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very, it seems very like yesterday, exciting. doesn't it? Yeah. It does feel like that. Um, but you know, every five years we do put our ships into a refit. So wow. she's got a nice new colour scheme in the atrium, um, some enhancements in the spa, and just a nice spruce up. Well, just I mean, she is the most beautiful ship. I just think she looks incredible. She is my favourite ship. I'm actually doing this itinerary in a few weeks' time. Are you? Yeah. Are you? yeah. yeah. I'm off yeah. to the Caribbean, so I can't wait on God. this ship. So I love Sindhu, Asian fusion cuisine, um, the crow's nest. I mean, go and have a G and T up there before dinner. And I then... don't need to be tempted. That's <laughs> great. But what's nice about Britannia? I mean, Britannia and Azura are both based out in the Caribbean, aren't they, for the whole winter? They are, yes. And what, and what we love about the packages with them is you fly in, bonded luggage, straight in, straight to your cabin, do the cruise. 11 ports are called, then back again, and they've been doing it for years when I used to work for them, and, and it's so easy to, to get to the Caribbean and see the islands. It's so yeah. easy, and uh, it's just going to, I can't wait. No, and I'm just looking at that price, it works out around about £750 per week. Yep, but that's yeah, including amazing. flights and transfers and, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. all that fabulous food and the entertainment. Best way to see the Caribbean, isn't it? Oh, I you think know? so. You don't have a snapshot yeah. of all I of these so. different I think islands. I just think the Caribbean is just the beaches, but there's a lot more other stuff uh, do, to have a look at. Do you know, people oh. sometimes say to me, you know, do you ever get bored on cruises? I think I could potentially get bored just in one place in the Caribbean for two weeks. Absolutely. But on a cruise, seeing all different islands and all its experiences, yeah. so much better. Shall we have um, a look? Yeah, let's have a look. Cruising is the best way to see the Caribbean. But there's not just beaches that you have. Beyond the beach, there's some really great attractions to see. In Barbados, you could be snorkeling with the turtles. You could go zip lining in St. Lucia. Kayaking through the mangroves. Eight of you in one jeep. A helicopter over Montserrat. Catamarans that will take you to little islands. You could try scuba diving. I love the little box fish. They're just... The list just goes on and on. The waters surrounding Barbados are absolutely crystal clear. When you get to Barbados, you have the most amazing opportunity to get into the water and have an up-close and personal experience with these huge sea turtles. If you prefer to do things at a more leisurely pace, there's panoramic drives, there's sightseeing activities. The train in St Kitts. One of my personal recommendations for anybody. There's so much to choose from. The biggest decision is going to be what to do every day. So much to do in the Caribbean. There's loads. 
yeah. there's loads. I think, as I said, when I was short excursions manager there, you know, when we worked over there, as I said, you've got the zip line and you've got the catamarans, uh, you've got the beach trips, you've got the, the St Kitts Railway. There's so much to do there. And I think, like we were talking about it earlier, you just need to plan what you want to do and look. And you can do something different every day. Do a yeah. boat trip one day and a railway another day. It's so much to do. I'm doing uh, so many different experiences there. Zip lining in Antigua, river tubing in Grenada, um, and then I'm going on a lovely catamaran in St Lucia. Oh, so oh, a little yeah. bit yeah. of a little yeah. bit of a, a different experience. <laughs> do a little bit of adrenaline stuff, but then kick back and enjoy some rum. Hey, that's what the Caribbean's for. Exactly. Run some and fun. Well, <laughs> this this one's a great one because this is going to fly you into Barbados. So it's going to be obviously a direct flight. Normally we have Gatwick, Manchester, Birmingham. Sometimes we have the odd regional we do have flights, don't we? Regional, so um, Glasgow, Bournemouth, sometimes um, Newcastle. On certain sailings, On isn't it? certain right. sailings, Exactly, so yes. give us a call and we can have a look at that for you. But flying straight in, and what's nice about it with this one is um, normally you've got an overnight either at the start of the cruise or the end of the cruise, depending on which uh, date you decide to fly out. And obviously, if you are going to do the one at the start, then obviously you've got Barbados. Barbados is one of the great islands in the Caribbean. Swim with the turtles, go out to Bathsheba, go and uh, just chill out in the boatyard. There's plenty of things to do in Barbados. We then have a day at sea, and then we go into what's called the ABC Islands, and we're going to C and A on this one. So Curacao is great for your swimming and your snorkeling. Again, a very much water sports based on here. You can go across the bridge there, good shopping in the centre of town. But if not, go further afield out to the beaches and do some snorkeling. But great past, you know, the... the Oh, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. I remember really that, bridge it, yeah. that we used to walk across. Very there. happy, don't you think? It is, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then one of the islands, which um, I was fortunate enough to go quite a few times, which is Aruba, and I think this is a lot of people's uh, tick-off places on here in Aruba. And Aruba's fantastic. You've got the flamingos there. You've got fantastic beaches. A little bit sort of Dutch and American um, um, way of life over there. But these are the beaches you've got here. We used to take ATV quad bikes out around the island, but loads and loads of stuff to do there. And again, if you take one of the uh, the ribs. One of the uh, the uh, yellow submarine that goes out there as well. That's a really fantastic trip out to the reef. We then have a day at sea and then Grenada. Now you're doing the river tubing. I'm doing river in tubing there. there. The yes. other one I do recommend is this is the Spice Island. So you can go all the way over to the other side of the island and see the fantastic spices and the way they're produced. And another one that's fantastic is the Rum Runner. That's the one that um, is always a good day out. St Vincent is famous for the sets of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, St Vincent, a lot, lot to do in town there, but I'd probably go out and go to the sets of the Pirate Ga Caribbean. You can either go to Bequi in the Grenadines, and I'd definitely recommend a water-based tour there if you can. And then St Lucia, like you said, you're doing the land and sea, which is over to see the Pitons. Uh, you've got the land trip there to the volcano, and then, of course, the famous Pitons that we have there is definitely worth a visit. Oh, I can't wait. You now, after all those ports of call, we can have a chill-out, relaxing day at sea. And then you saw it earlier at the Kits Railway, a uh, great place to go to, or a catamaran over to the island of Nevis. But again, you dock in the centre of town there. And I think if you haven't been to the island of um, St Kitts, I would definitely recommend doing the train. Oh, I'm doing snorkeling. Are you doing snorkeling? I do snorkeling. Yeah, I've booked a snorkeling experience. It's a very there. adventurous stuff, yeah. aren't you? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to give this a go. go. <laughs> It'll be the fear of my, the rib wings. ride. I'll, wings, I'll yeah. give it a go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, we, then we go to Antigua. Now, Antigua's, uh, again, one of the most popular destinations in the Caribbean. Very popular with the Brits going on holiday there. But this gives you a chance to go and see the English influence with Nelson's Dockyard. You can maybe take the Excellence Catamaran, do a 360 around the island. Great for beaches as well. But go maybe more inland as well. So do a land tour and then go and chill out on one of the beaches but I love Antigua it's one of my favorites so Martin is a cross between the Dutch and the French so we dock in the Dutch side we can go over to the French side great for shopping if you want to do the shopping there again all I would say if you're gonna do St Martin go to the far side first because the traffic can be really busy and then work your way back and that's oh, I've Beach. done that. Yeah, this. yeah. Which is a little bit different. Then a day at sea, and then back into Barbados. So you leave uh, fly straight home from Barbados, or depending if you book the, 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 the day later, you'll have an overnight at the end. But you will get an overnight in Barbados, however you do this. I tell you, you look get, at the island. I'm just, you see. Say, I was just yeah. saying that. Yeah, you know, so much in that one cruise. In isn't one there? holiday. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Nine ports, one holiday. God. Um, and price-wise, you know, I think amazing tonight. Um, now, the, um, the prices are based on select price, and that means up to £600 on board spend. And that obviously depends on which cabin you book. 
And if you book online, uh, you'll save an additional £10. If you do want to book this online, you will save an additional £10 per person. No tipping required, and that's uh, across all p and cruises. And everything is in the pound, which is really good at the moment. You know, with exchange rates being pretty poor um, right now, to, to have everything in the pound makes it really simple and really great value as well. The term flights are based on London, but as we mentioned, they uh, you know, there could be some regional flights available. Just uh, ask the call centre for details. But uh, I think, again, price-wise, for over two weeks, 50 nights, we have got prices starting at 1519 and dates there all the way from uh, January 2020 to March 2021 there as well. Um, actually, the upgrade to balcony is really good as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Really good. You definitely want to have a balcony in the Caribbean. There's I certain itineraries, isn't there, where you feel like you've got to have a balcony, mm. like the fjords and the Caribbean, yeah. you, you know, sailing in and out. You're going to get such spaces. great weather, generally speaking. Yeah. yeah. I, I love a balcony in the Caribbean, you know. <laughs> Sit there with a drink, and yeah. you know. Definitely. Magazine, I'll just sit in there. I just like to sit there sometimes. You <laughs> like, don't need a magazine, do the views are no, beautiful. Like, you know, sometimes just do nothing to sit <laughs> yeah. there and play your life. But um, we also have a, a really nice, if you want to try Pino Cruises, first time we've got a really nice little hot pick for you. Now, actually, my very first cruise with Pino was uh, a mini cruise like this mm -hmm. with my mum, and we had an absolutely fabulous time. It's yeah. a great way of trying cruises for the first time, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Get to see if you've got your sea legs. Yes. But also try out a different ship. If you've cruised with us before and you think, oh, I just want to see what one of the other ships is like, perhaps you like a smaller ship, you want to try one of the bigger ones, you can try a, a short break on those. Um, and I'd actually never been to Guernsey. <laughs> oh, it's such a lovely yeah, little yeah. island. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, yeah. yeah. about the cruise you two. You've got a house over there. Uh, oh, really expensive, actually. Yeah, yeah it is. So. But, um, no, I did really just say, based on cruise, there's two Guernsey with P&O, and it was just say, expensive first time, great little place. Um, and again, you can secure this from just a pound per person. And can I just ask, is that right when it says family of four from 875? Yes. Incredible, isn't, isn't it? That's a great yeah. break for the family, isn't a it? A great yeah. break for the family. If you're short on time or you can't take the kids out of school, what a great way yeah. to experience a ship or somewhere new. Yeah. But honestly, really worth trying that. Say just 349, and that's a sampler cruise from Southampton with P&O Cruises. Um, I like to book everything, so. <laughs> 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 but um, our next cruise, now this is a Canary Islands, Madeira, and Portugal cruise from Southampton uh, at 979. And again, you know, if you're just looking for pretty much guaranteed great weather. Yeah. Go to it's got the, the best weather in the world. Down yeah, there. you know, continue 320 20 days a year of sunshine, and you know the weather's going to be good. Yeah, there, you and you can be on board the Ventura as well. Ventura, family favourite. She's uh, based out of Southampton all year round, so great, great for kids yeah. as well. Um, real family friendly ship. We've got the beach coma pool, which has got the retractable roof. So you know, going out of Southampton, you can go and experience that um, the swimming pool. Undercover, if you need to. Just looking at some of the images, I mean. Oh, I mean, these are the kids' clubs, the reef here. We cater oh. so, so well for children, but we really pride ourselves on our entertainment on all of the ships. We just showed um, yeah. the theatre there. Looks really good. And, you know, we, we talk a lot about um, our entertainment. We've got Astonishing, a brand new show which is on um, Britannia Ventura and Azura. It's a bit of optical illusion, a little is that bit. The one of that you said with Stephen Mulhern? Stephen Mulhern, and Jonathan, Mulhern Jonathan Wilk. Cool. So, so um, our audience participation, a bit of dance, a bit of illusion. So something brand new for us is, is that yeah. show. Well, we've got family favourite TV shows like uh, Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> oh, on God, board. of course you have. Yeah. yeah. So um, entertainment. I love with that. Don't you? Well, they, how many do you do? About four a year. It's don't about you? four a year. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just great family fun. So you can come and learn to dance with some of the judges or the dancers or take part in the passenger competition. It's great. I They're mean, really popular. Really, yeah, really popular. Uh, I'd love to do that one, yeah. yeah. Great what do you like to dancing like? Oh, I like a boogie. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's one of those that thinks he's really good. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 To look exactly. at the video back the next morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, dear. No, but entertainment on all of our ships is something we really pride yeah. ourselves on. And, you know, there's all, all different um, ways you can enjoy, enjoy that. Well, um, let's uh, say, just uh, give you a little uh, um, idea of some of the great places that you're going to be visiting as well. And... Um, so you can also, of course, book you know great shore experiences and and say so, so much to do Spain, Portugal, and the Canaries here. Yeah, and I think I think with Spain, I think I think with the Canaries and Spain on, on a lot of these. I mean, Mount Tady is one of the best they, ones to do yeah, in, in Tenerife. Yeah. And I think with with these sort of folks, they're 
they're great destinations to go and see. You can chill out in the ports of call if you want to, but I would definitely recommend, again, maybe, I mean, you can do the, uh, the, the rock climbing there and the river dumping in there. You can go and do Lisbon by Tuk Tuk. There's loads of stuff to do, but again, I think if you go to Mount Tadey and you've not done it before in Tenerife, that's something to do. But again, where you're deck it, um, docking in most of the places there, you can go off and explore. Lisbon's a great destination to go and uh, wander around, even Vigo and places like that. And I think if you love Spain, you love Portugal, you want a nice bit of weather as well, this is a great deal to go out. And it's a nice chilled out cruise. When you go to places like Rome and Naples, they're very busy and you're rushing around. These sort of places, I think you can chill out a little bit more. It's Absolutely. a bit more easier going. I've just come back from the Canaries doing some of the new shore experiences that Are we're you offering. Ever? In the office. I know. Don't you tell have my got boss. My got boss got is watching. You should have a great job. <laughs> but it's fabulous. But I did everything from a pottery workshop to visiting a coffee plantation to having a surf lesson. Wow. So there truly is something is for something. everybody yeah. in the Canaries. You think, oh, maybe you've been to some of the Canary Islands. Have you really experienced some of that? Um, those great experiences. Yeah. Well, um. You, again, you will be cruising out of Southampton as well, so nice and easy. You've got the first few days at sea, and I think the great thing is you know the weather is going to get better, gonna get better and as better, you go down, yeah. You know, yeah. As you head towards Madeira. Madeira has pretty much a great climate all year it round. It does, yeah, and it, we will say Europe meets the Caribbean, but very hilly, uh, great views. I'd go to Tiat Rees, I'd go and do the, uh, the funicular and then take the toboggan down, but Madeira is one of my favourite. We only ever go there a couple of times a year, and I think if you haven't been there before, it's one of your highlights, and obviously the home of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and the dodgy statue at the uh, <laughs> airport. Now you've got the Santa Cruz de la Palma as well, which is one of the smaller islands of the, uh, of the Canaries. It's one of the greener ones, it's isn't it? It's one of the green. It's a little bit less developed than obviously Tenerife and Gran Canaria, but a great. It's got the uh, volcanic sandy beaches, and I would just go into the town and wander around. If you're not going to do one of the tours, just meander around, spend the day there. And again, you can see, even though it's you know, one of the smaller cities, you see it's quite big there, and you can just go and get lost for the day. Then we're going to two of the big boys. Tenerife, first of all, we talked about Mount Tady. You can go to Laurel Park. You're in Porta de la Cruz. So you can go along the promenade area there, but again, maybe take one of the tours a little further afield and then down to the south of the island, uh, Playa de las Americas and Los Cristianos. From there we go into Arecife, into Lanzarote, and Lanzarote is a little bit more of a windier island, famous again for more activities like the windsurfing and the kite surfing. but again, in Arecife is quite nice to go and wander around as well, down into Tamatea National Park, which is their national park they have there as well. Of course, you've got the camels to go and ride. Then we have a chill out day, and then one of the great destinations and the sailings in Europe, and that's into Lisbon. If you haven't done it, you said you, I think you've only been there once. Only right? once yeah. on a cruise. But again, in Lisbon's nice to sail in under the bridge with the Cross of Redeemer statue. You've got the yellow trams to take you around the centre of the town. And again, from there, you can either do a tour a little bit further afield, um, or you can just stay into Lisbon and explore. You can spend a full day there, and it's great. Then we've got a couple of chill out days just to relax before you get back into Southampton and then you're on your way home. And uh, in terms, of, again, of what's included, uh, well, for, just working out, it's, it works out under £82 per person per night. Um, and again, just to recap, no tipping required. I mean, that a lot of first-time cruisers really worry about tipping. So if you're not to have to, you know, worry about that... Absolutely. We're British. We don't know who to tip, when to tip, yeah. how, how to much? tip. The Americans yeah. have got it down, haven't they? Yeah, we, we don't. don't. Clue, do we? So yeah. we just remove that. It's another barrier. It's an added expense. Yeah. Um, our service is just... Um, phenomenal, so it's included in your um, fare. Also, don't forget, you will also get to choose uh, either free on board spend, port parking, or UK coach transfers. You only need to pay a pound per person deposit to uh, secure your place tonight. And if you book online, you'll save an additional ten pounds per Just person. Just to let you know as well, as well if the guys are sitting in the office tonight. If you want to give them a call, they're probably on the tenner. If you don't want to do it online, yeah, they're probably really? doing it anyway for you. Yeah, oh, for you. Well, give us it, like, give us a call then. Go <laughs> on, oh, we'll do it. Get them no. working. Give them a call. Give them a call, but they're there anyway. And again, if yeah. you're not so good on the computer, give the guys a call. They're more than happy. And, to and don't forget the number there: zero eight zero eight um, <laughs> two five zero two six six two. So I've just looked as well. The sweets are really good value, aren't they? As well. The sweets are excellent value. Yeah, and they're big. They are big, I know. Yeah, and then you get priority embarkation, disembarkation, yeah. you get your um, use of a butler if you should want that. But, you know, the insides, uh, they still really love the cabins, and the price there starts at 9 to 9, so there's something for everyone's budget. Isn't you there? have to always work out how long you're going to spend in your cabin. Yeah. You know, to, to work that yeah. out. Do you want to spend more money on board experiencing yeah. um, the venues that we have on board, or would you like to invest in having more space within your yeah. cabin to relax in private? But uh, give us a call tonight, and uh, I know we can find the perfect cruise for you with, of course, Pino. But we've also got, uh, next, we've got a great family deal, actually, a really good family deal. And uh, <laughs> I only saw this just, just before the show, and I, 
you know, so many of my friends with, you know, with children, particularly when it, you know, it's midsummer. This is the 31st of July. A lot of my friends just say, we can't afford a, a family holiday, not a decent family holiday. Now, I know there's not many of these available, is that right? No, but, but the, the main thing is, it's a three and four birth cabin, so they're always minimal compared to the yes, two birth course, cabins. Yeah. So if you've got children with you, people say, well, I don't want to book that, that far in advance. Get it booked now, get a low deposit booked in again, because I'll tell you now, in a couple of weeks' time, they won't be available. Yeah. And the new thing for family for on the 31st of July, so that's peak season, isn't it? Yeah, peak really? season. All of your food, all of your entertainment included. I mean, I've got kids friends clubs, that were paying kids the kids' clubs. Yeah. You've got night nursery open till 2 a.m. for your babies. Um, really? Yeah. So, fully looked after your children on board. The kids' clubs are open all day, every day. God. That's a great full one. activity program. But I've got friends, you know, that spent five thousand pounds in summer holidays yeah. to have a land-based holiday. And still had a bad time. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And that was, but you know, that was self-catering sometimes. Yeah. You know, you look at some of the prices, and it's just incredible. Oh. Well, uh, do, do do give us a call for that one because we think it'll go very quickly. But it's now time for this week's early bird. <laughs> Um, and, and as Glenn's been saying, you know, when we first started presenting this show about 11 years ago, it was the well, late... I wasn't 11 years ago. <laughs> I was still at school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we, 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 it was 11 years ago when I was here, Glenn. Yeah. You, John Lace. <laughs> but um, it, it was the late deals with the best, but yeah. now, more and more, if you book, book early, early, you get a far better deal, don't it's you? It's the best way to book. When we yeah. launch um, our summer seasons yeah. or winter, it's best to book early. And you can pay it off. You can pay yes. it off over yeah. 18 months. You can months plan and it like properly, yeah. can't you? Absolutely. You're not rushing to pay it at the end because, you know, three months before when your balance is due, you want to be thinking about what experiences you're going to have when you are in the port. So pay your cruise off nice and early and then think about yeah. how you can enjoy the uh, rest of your time. Now, this is, this is a bit of a trip of a lifetime, this one. It's taking you from uh, Sydney to Hong Kong on board Aurora there. And uh, again, we, we're going to talk about the destinations in, in a second, but this is actually part of the world cruise, isn't it? It is it? part of our world cruise. So if you're lucky enough to have the time, we do a 99 nights Western circumnavigation. Um, Aurora's doing this the first time um, since 2017, so she will do the world cruise in 2022. The full world cruise, you'll go to 26 different ports. So imagine the experiences yeah. you can have there. But if you are short of time and you want to take part of an exotic fly cruise, as we call them, they're anything from 14 nights up to 50. Right. So, um, so you can pick a February. snapshot. And this is just yeah. one, of the, one, of the, the, one of the cruises we picked on there. But again, as I said, you can break it down however you want to do. And the guys can assist you to do that. Not a problem at all. Well, um, this is pretty incredible, actually. We, we start off with a, a flight over to Sydney. Not yeah, a bad start. Yeah, so we're going to fly into Sydney. Now, personally, I'd, I'd like to repackage this, and I'd rather get you out there three or four days before. You and you know. can do that, Glenn, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course we can. Yeah. So we'll fly you down London. And again, we can do regional flights from there. London, Birmingham, Manchester, Glasgow, Newcastle. Um, fly you down to Sydney. I'd have three or four days down in Sydney. You know, if you've never been there before, and then you'll have one, one of the most iconic sailouts in the world, if not the world, um, and that will be the Sydney. So you'll be sailing out from Sydney and heading up like, the coastline. So imagine you're going out with Sydney. It'll be on the right side. So you'll have uh, underneath the bridge. You'll have the Opera House on the left-hand side, and then sailing up the coastline, up to the Gold Coast there of Brisbane. Now, plenty of things to do on the Gold Coast. Wonderful destination to go and see. You can actually go over to Steve, Steve Irwin Zoo. He's got out there, but you've got the internal pool area. Go and see the koalas, the kangaroos. Aww. That's what you want to do. That's, <laughs> that's, what, you're that's, so that's what you're in Australia for. But Aww. the Gold Coast is fantastic. Brisbane is a great, great destination. And again, various trips to do from there. Now, again, you've got sea days on this one. And if you want to chill out and relax, you're going to then head up to Papua New Guinea. Now, how many people have been to Papua New Guinea? None of us. No, I know. <laughs> oh, have you? I have, yeah. Have you? So, yeah, we went into Rebel. So when you go into Rebel, again, it's normally tenders that go into Rebel, and that's where you get to meet the locals, and you really do feel you in the tropical climate. It there. looks beautiful. Yeah, the local. And again, with this one, you really want to take a trip out. You want to go to the volcanic areas there. We went out, and we did a full morning tour. Now, the vehicles, you have to go with it, OK? They're not <laughs> going to be deluxe 50-seater coaches there. I think all of them get their local cars out and take you around the island. But that's what you're going to do the trip for, and you get some wonderful destinations. We spent the whole day there. We danced with the locals. We had a fantastic opportunity. It's a place you'll probably never, ever, ever visited before, and that's Papua New Guinea. 
Then we've got four or five days at sea, and then we go into one of the great cities. Of course, it's all buzzing over there at the moment with, of course, they've just had the World Championship Athletics, and of course, the rugby's going on into Japan and Tokyo, one of the busiest cities in the world. And again, you've got a chance there to go out to Mount Fuji because you've got an overnight on board. Remember, you've got an overnight on board. Of course, yeah. And a chance to take the bullet train. You can go and experience some of the pagodas and the temples that they have there. Again, you can go to, they've got the, the tower there, which looks like the Eiffel Tower. You can go to the top of that. But again, that's Tokyo there. Wow. Again, that is wow. a bucket list place to go and see. It is, absolutely. And you've got an overnight there, which is wonderful. Then you've got day at sea. Then into Kagoshima, which again uh, is further along from there. And again, into Japan, you can go and see the volcano there. Um, you can go to the Japanese gardens, the Kagoshima Castle, the archaeological site, the beautiful Japanese gardens. And again, both those places I would definitely recommend taking a tour because you want to make the most of it. Then a couple of days at sea and then we go into Hong Kong. Again, another one of the great cities of the world. Busy, busy over there. And again, you've got the, 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 the different areas of Hong Kong to go and explore. You can take the cable car. You can go to the uh, Walk of Stars like they have in Hollywood. They have that in uh, Hong Kong as well great destination and of course at night time the place comes at light and I'd recommend something like the Symphony of Lights tours. Take the boat ride along and the whole of Hong Kong lights up and what's nice about that, that's going to be an overnight on board as well. Wow. Incredible. Uh, well just to remind uh, all of our lovely viewers watching right now what is included on this one. Um, as I mentioned, you've got some great, great prices. Um, you will get, um, with it being the select price as well, you will get onboard spend as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but up to uh, £220 there. And return flights based on London. Um, that really, very exciting. I tell you that was, wasn't yeah. it? Really nice. And again, Two as I said, you've got two and a half years to put the pennies away and save up. Just quickly, did you mention earlier that Aurora's had a refit as well? Yeah, well, she became adult only in oh, March yes, this year. Yes. So she is our smallest uh, ship in the fleet, um, but she became adult only. Which is or, nice when you go to place like Papua New adult. Guinea, you don't want a 5,000 vessel turning up because no, it just won't No, it. no. It's a nice intimate feel on it that is. ship, and she's a classic, you know. Yeah. Now, um, something that... I, I really want to do, and I will do at some point, is is be on a cruise at Christmas. Oh, I feel really I, nice and special. Yeah, well, do you know, I, I love Christmas, but it, it's a lot of stress. You know, I'm doing the cooking again this year, and it, yeah. you, know, you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's great, but it's a lot of work. And it would be nice to be to be on a cruise and just have everything done for you. Absolutely. You step on board, the ship is beautifully decorated, yeah. you have a wonderful uh, Christmas dinner cooked for you, none of the washing up, yeah. which is but the if, best bit, but, but you, you just feel lovely. We treat do you think what you'd actually spend to go away in a hotel for three nights yeah. over, Christmas, over Christmas and then work out what this price is? You'll see how good value this yeah. is. For ten nights. Um, now, it, it, it's a ten-night Baltic cruise. Now, we, you have got other Baltic cruises with P&O, haven't you, Absolutely. Of so, a traditional 14-night um, Baltic cruise, that would be, with um, St. Petersburg. But this one is slightly different because it's over Christmas. Okay. But so we have got obviously, you know, but the Baltic, the Baltic cruise is now so popular. So again, if this is not the one at Christmas, I mean, again, the things you can do on Baltic cruises: Copenhagen, Helsinki, yes. Stockholm, and of course the main the main highlights there are St. Petersburg. Now, again, if you get a trip to the ballet in St. Petersburg, um, as I said, you can go to the Hermitage or Peterhof. But even places like Stockholm, the sailing in there is wonderful. So this is a video showing the various Baltic cruises, and I think you've got a number of those throughout the summer on the various ships Absolutely. to see, and they're so so popular. And again, if you haven't tried one before they really are so, so again just give us a call tonight um, and we will find you the perfect P and O cruise well we, we really will definitely will in Let's fact you tell me how many you tell me how many cruises have you got yeah. so <laughs> what we are just launching is 403 brand new cruises going to 186 destinations in 68 countries there, there you go, go. There there we just go. rolled <laughs> off the tongue <laughs> <laughs> she'll be learning that I'm all day not, she'll I'm be learning not, that all day yeah, <laughs> I've not really been talking about it for a while but that's but just that's what the, the new product up. So there's, yeah. there's still things on sale now, cool. so incredible. Uh, but this cruise is all about Christmas. You'll be, uh, yeah. say, uh, departing from Southampton on the 19th of December. So, so you're it'll be, you'll be completely buzzing for Christmas oh, anyway. Again, right you'll have the holiday in the night before if you wanted to book that yes. one. And then from there, we're taking you over to wonderful Copenhagen. Now, again, great destination there. You've got an overnight on board here to go and experience uh, the Christmas markets and what, what Copenhagen's got to offer. Tivoli Gardens will be beautiful at this time of year. It'll be cold, so it's time to wrap up warm. But at Christmas, you expect that. So, again, it all adds to the atmosphere. But Tivoli's lovely. Go and see the Little Mermaids. And then, of course, you've got the Christmas markets then. Then we go into Oslo. Oslo. Now again, the capital of Norway, further up the coastline there, we dock into Oslo so you can walk into town and again they'll have the Christmas markets there. 
And again, another nice thing with this one, you've got the overnight on board. So if you want to stay out, you can. If not, come back to the ship and they'll have entertainment on board for you. And then a day at sea, and then we go into Amsterdam. Um, and again, another popular destination as we start to head back home. And another nice thing, you've got an overnight on there as well. So you've got three overnights on this particular cruise to go off and get lost for the evening and go and experience everything these cities have got to offer. Then finally back into Zeebrugge, and from there I'd recommend a trip into Bruges. Bruges will be amazing at that time of year. And again, uh, that will just be after Christmas, so it will still be buzzing. You'll have that Christmas feeling. And as I said, what a lovely way to spend Christmas. And I've got a feeling that middle day, which is in between Oslo and Amsterdam, will be probably Christmas Day. That's normally a day. And we, and we should say, if you're expecting lots of very uh, excited children on board, not at all, because it's adult only, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. yes. So it's an adult Christmas. Arcadia is uh, yeah. exclusively for adults. So I mean, yes, I think that's right. I, I would love to do that one. Really but what would. sells this to me is the three overnights and destinations. So we really like the overnights or the yeah. late departures. Yeah. Um, because it gives our guests r lots and lots of time to be able to explore those ports in in much more depth. Yeah, not to be rushing. Yeah, exactly. yeah not to rush. Just go and relax and uh, go and really immerse yourself. But I, I just think, you know, for, for, for some of us to get away at Christmas, to be really looked after, to, to have the ship looking beautiful, I think it would be magical. And, um, <laughs> the, do you know, there's what... There's a couple of things that have put me off Christmas cruises, but one of them is price, because normally they're really expensive, expensive, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. so expensive. Yeah, not tonight. Not with P&O no. cruises. Uh, starting <laughs> at uh, just £1,179. Don't forget, you will get to choose, as I mentioned earlier, free on board spend, port parking, or UK coach transfers. You only need to secure your place for a pound per person deposit, and uh, you can book online and get an additional £10 per person off, but Glenn reckons if you give, give us a call, I'll be honoured. We'll help you out. We're not going to take anything off you for a turn. No, you're not, are you? Yeah, we're good like that. And they're just going to put reference Glenn <laughs> yeah. in every bucket. And then I'll be speaking to people tomorrow, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be paying all the tenants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We'll You've got no first. wages left we'll for this month. Uh, um, but we have got one uh, final cruise for you, and mm. it is back aboard the beautiful Britannia. And uh, this is the, the, the what I call the classic itinerary the the france uh, portugal and spain of course yes two um, weeks two weeks what a lovely way to get away yeah and um, but i love britannia she's current flagship uh, in the fleet before iona obviously comes um but you can have some great experiences in the med yeah oh yeah and you know, I think that's where a lot of the start. Yeah, and isn't I think it? that's, it's a popular sort of first person's cruise. Yeah. You know, and I think, you know, I was in Barcelona this week, so Sagrada Familia, the unfinished Gaudi Cathedral, is fantastic to go and see. Um, again, climb the Rocket Gibraltar, you can go and do that if you wanted to. There's so many different um, things to do in these ports of call. Again, I always say research as much as you can. Now, in all of these destinations, you head through the countries. I always say to people, get off and explore. Don't just eat on the ship. I know the food's good on the ship, but you're in these places to go off and go and explore some of these great restaurants, try the local wines, and, and this is what you go on holiday to do that. Um, but again, all these destinations you go to are really and, nice to go and explore. And, and I think one, one of the nice things, again, is that you know, you're know you not flying on this one at all, out of Southampton. Out of Southampton, it's just so easy. Yeah. And actually, Britannia's got so much to do on board. Uh, one of the entertainment venues we've got on there is the Limelight Club, yeah, no, for example. Yeah, tell me about the, you mentioned this a little bit yeah, earlier. Yeah, so. so it's a really nice um, cabaret kind of place. It's, a, it's like a supper club, so you can go and have a beautiful dinner, um, but watch some guest entertainers come on board. So, for example, Denise Van Outen is one of the new guests that really? we've, we're welcoming on board. Um, but there's some favourites on there. Chesney Hawks, um, Gareth the Gates. One and only. The, the one, one and only. The one and only. Yeah, wow. exactly. <laughs> uh, but my colleague saw him and just uh, thought he was uh, phenomenal. He's really good. He's yeah. really, really yeah. good My mate, my mate saw Gareth Gates when they were on board and they said he was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So you have a beautiful dinner. It's a really nice intimate kind of feel and then you've got a guest speaker and you learn all about their lives and get to know them and but just something very different on board. And also the, di yeah. the dining on board is good anyway even if you're not dining in there. You've got all the Absolutely. other sort of speciality restaurants yeah. as well. Yeah. I've just booked. I can't can't wait. So we've got Epicurean, finest dining at sea. Or if you like a bit of Asian fusion cuisine, you've got Sindhu. Um, if you like a relaxed kind of feel, we've got the Beach House, which is part of the buffet where you Cook get steak steaks. on a stone yeah. or you're hanging kebab. It's just phenomenal. I mean, I'm going to eat my way around the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Thank goodness there's a gym on board, eh? Hey? Um, but I um, just think she's beautiful. Well, that atrium is incredible. I've, I've got many friends that have been on Britannia several times. And yeah, just love her, and I can see why. And we yeah. were on board a few years ago, yeah, weren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful ship.
Crystal, we just didn't get long yeah. enough, did we? No, <laughs> we tried to stay on for a few days. They wouldn't let yeah. us. <laughs> uh, the Crystal Room there was just—I was just going to point out—that's where we host uh, the dancing from Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, on board, wonderful! So, and the live lounge, dance the night away in there. But you'll go and see some uh, great tribute acts in there. Or I saw a great soul and Motown um, band when I was on board. So. So that, this is what I love yourself. about cruising, you know, never dull moment and so much choice, you know. If one venue isn't to your taste, you just move on to another one. You don't just don't go, move on, absolutely. Yeah. But if you're like me, you spend the whole uh, next day thinking, right, what am I going to do? Ring in the Horizon magazine thinking, right, I've got so much to do. <laughs> but I mean, the itinerary is nice on this one. So this is great value for money if you're going to do the Holiday Inn again. Um, now, again, we haven't mentioned it already, but you do do the drinks packages on board now. We it's an do. added extra if you want to add that on. That's been brought out in the last yeah. sort of eight or nine months as well. Isn't That's it? right. So we've got four different drinks packages. We've got kids, we've got hot drinks, non alcoholic but the ultimate drinks package is 39.95 per adult per day which is um, good really good and it's there if you want it you can use your onboard spending money towards that however we are really good value on board so if uh, you feel that you, you don't want to add that package drinks on, aren't expensive on drinks board. aren't no, expensive you know you've got cocktail of the day five pound yeah. 75 or a glass of wine for drink, 95. when you pay for a drink on board you don't then suddenly have extra service charges no. and do you want a glass well yeah that's two dollars extra do you want to serve yeah <laughs> dollar. <laughs> so when you pay for it, you pay for it. But this itinerary is nice because you've got two days at sea so you can relax with that drinks package, put your feet up and take in the views. And then we go into Cadiz, into Spain. The cathedral here is definitely worth a visit. It's a stunning visit to go into Cadiz, but it is a nice city to go and wander around. Then we're going to one of my favourite destinations down to the south of Spain, into Malaga, and you can take trips into Malaga itself, maybe up to Mijas or some of the local towns nearby, but I love the south of Spain and you know the weather's going to be good. Now I used to have a property up near Alicante, so Alicante Ooh. again up on the Ilia, yeah, well, Get you. I couldn't afford cruises, so I just bought houses. <laughs> so Alicante is lovely to go up to, and again many of you have probably travelled there on your summer holidays, but in Alicante it's nice, they've got a good beach area to go and explore there, um, and some other nice destinations to go and visit while you're there. Then a chill-out day, and then we go down into some of the big ports of call of the Med. We hit the southern, uh, southern France and down the Côte d'Azur, Nice, where the rich and famous go yes. and play. Um, again, you can take trips to Monaco, down to Cannes, but again, I would just recommend chilling out, relaxing, nice uh, glass of wine and taking the views and watching the millionaire. you've got a house there as well, haven't you? I had to sell that one, no. <laughs> He's got a caravan in Scale. <laughs> 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 and then, then we go into uh, Barcelona, and Barcelona and Seville was there this week. We, we were at the, uh, uh, walked up last round. But again, a trip over to the Gaudi Park really is really worth a visit. You can take the hop on, hop off buses. That's Sagrada Familia, the unfinished cathedral. Or if you're a football lover, over to the wonderful New Camp, which holds about 100,000. And uh, again, very similar to West Ham Stadium, but we'll move on from there. Then. I went to see a great flamenco show, actually. Um, what, the New Camp? It, no. <laughs> well, yeah, do you know? How they play sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. But, but, it, uh, but it is lovely Barcelona and there's loads of stuff to do. Loads and loads so of stuff. So much to do, to do there. It's a great city. Then we go into my uh, where I first started my career abroad. I did three years in Ibiza. Now we dock in Ibiza town and from there that's great because from Ibiza town you go and explore the island, go down to Playa de Bossa, down to San Antonio. But Ibiza town is wonderful to go and spend the day. They've got some good beaches there if you want to chill out. Then a day at sea. Then we go to Lisbon. We've already spoke about Lisbon. Again, nice sailing in there, and I would spend the day in the main square. And then we've got a couple of days at sea, and then we're back into Southampton, and that is a really, really nice uh, Western Mediterranean cruise. Um, and, and the lead date there, the 31st of July as well. I know, and look, it's less than £100 per person yeah. per day. I mean, you know, that, I, I'm not being funny, but it was that itinerary, you know, in the middle of winter, you'd make them that price, yeah, you know. Was indicative of that, but for peak season, peak season, amazing value. Absolutely, yeah. and we did say we'd talk about um, onboard spending money, but you can spend onboard spending money on absolutely Anything. everything. Drinks, so meals, excursions, even yeah. in the shops. Spa. In the shops, yeah. yeah. Some people say, "How will I ever spend that amount of money? Go and buy your Christmas presents yeah. in the shops if you're not going to spend it on board." I mean, I wouldn't have a problem spending. No, that. no, no I've, never, I've, I've never had a problem. Um, so remember, you can pre-register now on sale Thursday, the 24th of October, uh, this Thursday. Um, but loads of extras, as we mentioned tonight, uh, including things like onboard spend, port parking, or UK coach transfers. That is nearly it. We just need to recap, don't we? We do. Um, but price on this, we've actually got two dates with... Um, Both peak seasons, so literally back to yeah. back, so... And the same price. Exactly. Yes. I thought I was seeing double there, but no. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a busy day, I'll tell you. But um, yeah, both both dates uh, exactly the same. Just time, those, which is those, those dates on there again. If you're looking at kids, three, four birth cabins, 
please book as early as possible. Yeah. And, and the single price is really good as yeah. well. Really good for, uh, for that cruise. But uh, it is time to recap. Been a great show. Oh, it's been Couldn't amazing. Like, Thank yeah. you for having me. Well, you can come back any time. Thank you. <laughs> as long as you give us these deals. <laughs> so uh, we started off with Iona, brand new ship. Um, you can see there, it is the Seven Night Norway and Fjords from Southampton. Um, I'm going to say it again, for, for such a stunning, groundbreaking ship, to get a, a price starting at 549 is is exceptional, isn't it? It is. And you do get to choose things like your free onboard spend, port parking, or UK coach transfers as well. That Every time we feature owner, really busy, Glenn. Yeah? Oh, it is always busy because yeah. people want to get on it, but again, yeah, I feels, do. Yeah, I do. Really, really good. Then we moved on to Britannia. So this was going over to the Caribbean. If you want to see Nile Islands, Barbados overnight, and then you want your direct flights in and out of Birmingham, Manchester, Gatwick, and sometimes regionals, depending on the flights. Again, you've got, this is based on the select fare, up to $600 on board spend. Um, again, book online, get that £10, or give the guys a call. No tipping required on this one. And again, regional flights, give the guys a call. And again, secure that from just £1 per person. On that one. Then we had Ventura, of course. And this was the 12 night Canary Islands, Madeira and Portugal cruise from Southampton uh, starting at uh, just 9799 and again the same things apply there just the the pound deposit no tipping on any P&O cruises now no, no it's completely removed you made everything easy for us. We've bit, made you? everything nice and easy yeah, for which, you. Which sounds great to me. <laughs> um, and, and as we mentioned, because uh, we've got many cruises uh, out of Southampton, you can always uh, add a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. Then what was next, Claire? They went on to Aurora, which is that wonderful trip down to Sydney. And again, I would tweak this slightly and add on and a few extra stays maybe in Sydney. And we can do Hong Kong for you as well. But again, you've got onboard spend on that one. You've got flights from London. We can look at regionals for you. That won't be a problem. Plus, over the overseas transfers and again this goes out on the 20th of Feb 2022. Now if you'd like to escape for Christmas next year uh, and be on an adult only ship but have all of that great Christmas spirit uh, beautifully you know the ship will be beautifully decorated you'll have a, the most amazing Christmas dinner with no washing up as uh, Steph said this is one for you and the price 1179 that one. And then finally we've got Britannia and that was that one for the Western Med or the France, Spain and uh, Portugal on there and this is a lovely one to go out in the main summer period and again lead price 1359 two departure dates on that one and give the guys a call to get that one booked. Um, and uh, don't forget, we also had the, the hot pick, just give us a call for that, that was over to Guernsey for 349. Guernsey, 349, I think, yeah. the price on that one. Uh, we are sadly out of time. Thanks again. That's been amazing. Thank you. I l love all the ships. They look beautiful. Great. Can't wait to go on Iona. Yeah, same here. I'm going to beat you too, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm going to beat um, all of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Um, but please come back visiting with Pino Cruises. I will do. I'd love to. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Glenn, you're back in? Uh, I'm back in a couple of weeks. I'm back in the office tomorrow morning. We're still pre-regging. It's going to be busy yeah. tomorrow morning. So get booking as quick as you yeah, can, guys. Give us a call right now. I will see you, of course, next week. I think it's Dan next week. Dan and myself with, of course, Planet Cruises. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications and if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.